Hi everyone, Liz here. Thanks for stopping by. So today we have another unboxing. Oh, and it's another craft buddy one. They keep bringing out all this new stuff just to tempt me. So let's have a look and see what's inside this one. Okay, so these are all the new style cards that they've just launched in the new sizes. So we'll have a closer look at those. Okay. This is a little surprise, which is a little bit late really for this year, although it is Good Friday today, so um, I'll probably get that done today. <laughs> okay, let's get this box put out the way. Love the packaging boxes. I actually ordered these. They were launched on Wednesday and they arrived on Thursday. So how was that for uh, fantastic service? And if you spend, I think it's th over £35, you get a free postage. So next day delivery for spending £35. And it's so easy to spend £35. Right, I've also got in this package uh, one of the uh, Craft Buddy Crystal Art catalogues. And this literally has everything that they've got out at the moment that's available on the website. You can actually browse through it at your leisure as well in a paper form if you prefer that, if you don't like looking on websites. Okay, so we've got all the Disney there. It's all the Disney canvases. Some Thomas Kincaid, these are all legally licensed. Uh, Anne Stokes collection, which is very uh, gothic dragons and angels. I think there are some super ones there. And then, oh, that's some new ones that are coming out soon. There's the ones that have just recently come out. These are all the 8x8 cards, which I think uh, I've done just about every single one of them. There's some Christmas cards from last year uh, that we'll be bringing out some more. There's the larger cards, which are like an A4 in size. So if you're wanting a bigger card for lots of people to sign and some bigger Christmas cards, some little frames there to put your 8x8 cards in as well. And then your notebooks. Oh, there's a skull with the teeth. Those teeth fascinate me. I can't take my eyes off them. Uh, some Christmas notebooks. Uh, some mini canvases that come in frames. I have got um, an unboxing on the little unicorn one. I actually won that one in a craft buddy competition at Christmas. And there's some of your smaller frames there in 30 by 30s. And then it goes through to your bigger canvases. So as you can see, there's a huge choice and something for everybody. Um, there's quite a few that I've got on my wish list. So uh, as I finish one, I'm going to order another one. Um, I am going to run out of wall space though. I have got the train one to do. That's my uh, This Christmas's project. So watch out, I will be doing that train. Um, and then there's the LED ones where you have uh, a light in them so you can actually see them glow a little bit. Some clocks. And then there's your little stickers which are great for kids to do or just embellishments for various things. Um, my little granddaughter has done some of the stickers and she's put them on her tablet case so she can see them. There's all the stamps that you can use your spare crystals up with and some of the cards that people have done using them and some of the key rings and then the wreaths and the bunny wreath that we've done recently at the back there as well. And then finally um, your accessories packs. So we've talked about the accessory pack there. I've done unboxings on the uh, new cases and the brushes. So yeah, so great uh, selection there. I do like the catalogue. I just think that looks really professional. Just gives you an idea of what they've got. And they do seem to bring them out um, about every six months. This is spring, summer, and then I would think the Christmas one will be autumn, winter, hopefully with the new Christmas cards. But that's all to come. Okay, so let's pop that out of the way. And let's get into, we'll have a look at the cards first and then I'll show you a little box. <laughs> Just pop him out the way for a moment. So the cards are all in a new size now, which is 11 centimetres by 22 centimetres. And we've got these three are florals and they're all like the DL, the lengthways. So... Yeah, I think that's a really nice idea. Just doing, mixing it up a bit, having some different uh, sizes and different designs. And then, oh, I ordered two of these because I think this is super. We'll have a closer look, but that's Santa with the reindeers. And, uh, oops, <laughs> show him the right way around. Yeah, I just thought that one was quite cute and uh, 
with having quite a few Christmas cards for younger children and even older children and even adults. That one's quite nice. And then this one has to be my favourite. You know me, animal lover to the end. And uh, oh, <laughs> they're all the wrong way up, aren't they? Um, so again, we'll have a closer look. But that is such a good mix of animals. Look there, parrot. That looks like, is it an iguana? We've got a kitten. We've got a lovely little happy dog. We've got a bunny and we've got a ferret there. So a real good selection. You don't very often see these animals on cards. So that's really good for any animal lover. Okay, so let's have a look at the flowers first. Let's pop those out of the way. So we'll have a look at the vase of flowers first. So, so you can see, oh, they've got four of the new ones there there is actually five so they've just put the four on the inside there gives you all your social media contacts there as well craftbuddylimited.co.uk and uh, on instagram at crystal card kit so there you are gives you all your instructions how to use in your four different languages english german uh, french and is that dutch or is that italian I think that's Dutch. Okay, and the new thing that they've started doing is the DMC codes on the back. So, yay, we like DMC codes. We can then put it away in our storage, and if we need uh, crystals for any that we've spilt or run out of, or for a project that we're doing, a custom project, we've got all our DMC colours. And the DMC colours are um, from the company that make all the threads for needle embroidery and cross stitch so if you're familiar with cross stitch or embroidery then you will be yet familiar with dmc codes so the colors from um all the diamond painting crystal art actually match up with the dmc numbers for your cross stitch quite a few of the canvases that have been used for cross stitch have been transferred across as diamond paints and charted out as diamond paintings so you know there is quite a crossover from those two crafts okay so let's have a look at this card let's get it out of the packet and have a look so, so i don't like to save my packets i save them until i finish getting down the backpack because i do need my dmc numbers there okay so nice elegant card this one useful for anything um birthdays mother's day uh just say hello, thinking of you, and um, get well soon even. And you could put a little paper banner across the front there um, and just put somebody's name on it or put, you know, happy birthday or I love you, anything like that. Um, I think, are these the everlasting flowers? Those that you can dry, you know, hang upside down and dry and then use them in dried flowers. Not sure, sure somebody will tell me. Uh, again, blank inside with these cards. So you've got your choice of uh, just writing on here if you've got decent writing. If you've anything like mine, it won't be. <laughs> um, or you can put a sticker or stamp inside. Or as I like to do, just get a piece of uh, paper and uh, use it as an insert. Okay, with a size this size, all I do is grab an A4 size piece of paper and just sort of... You can see that just centre it a little bit, give it a little bit of a fold there, and then oops, line it up there and fold. You can use your bone folder there as well if you want to get a, a bit better crease. And then just using my guillotine, just chop that edge off there. Okay, and then I'm just going to put some glue with my tape runner where's my tape runner where's my tape runner as you can tell i've got a drawer underneath my desk that's got everything in it just run some tape along there and then fold the card i do like to do it on that edge because then as you open it you open to the greeting page and then i can write or stamp or put my greeting on there so i think it just makes the card look a little bit more expensive and um, if you put your little insert in there just something that i do something you don't have to do but uh, just takes the card up that uh, little bit extra okay right we'll get a nice envelope with this as well pop that 
out the way and yep good quality envelope you're not going to be seeing through that uh, it's a gummed envelope but at the moment i am using stickers on envelopes i'm not uh, licking envelopes with covid and everything at the moment and one of my other tips that i think i've shown previously is when you post your card oops, put your insert that way around as well just put it inside out into your envelope and then you're not actually ruining any of your beads or drills or gems if it goes through a postal machine okay so your toolkit and um, it's one up from a basic toolkit and um, because it does have some of the little grip seal bags if i can get into this and uh, i just have to excuse my nails they're very short at the moment um, hubby is still in hospital so I am hospital visiting and you tend to find that using their industrial strength soaps and cleaners and everything on a regular basis does play havoc with your nails so my nails have all gone short at the moment. Uh, you get plenty of little grip seal bags to put your spare beads in there's usually about 20 when I've counted them there's usually 20. Uh, you get your little square of wax your green tray to put all your beads in and you get your diamond painting pen, which is what you need to do your diamond painting. Let's double check. I think this is a three placer. Yeah, that's a three placer. If you can see there, my little DIY thing. Look, I still need a five, a seven and an eight. I've started doing that because I can never guess what they are. Some of them do have them written on, but on the whole they don't. So I've started sticking them on so I can guess, uh, see which ones they are and tell you correctly. Okay, so that's your pen. Let's measure this card and make sure it's the size that it says. What did we say we were? 11 centimetres by 22. So, yep, yeah, that is 22 centimetres, which is about eight and three quarter inches. And it is 11 centimetres, which is just about four and a quarter inches, if you like to know in your inches. So, yeah, good size. Really like these. Again, good quality. Waft test. <laughs> That's not going anywhere. Um, good thick card. So, you know, it, it's not going to get the Bambi legs where it dives in and then goes whoop, over on your mantelpiece or wherever you've put it. That is going to stand. And I think once these are out, people aren't going to put them away. <laughs> okay, let's have a look at these. Oh, it looks like we've got a mixture here of your resin drills and your crystal diamonds so nice and sparkly we like a bit of sparkle okay quite a few colors here does it tell us on the back what have we got two four six eight ten twelve colors so that's a lot of colors for a little painting so your normal resin gems you've got your beiges and your creams there Think they'll all be in your vase but i mean that's four different colors to give you that gradient that shading on your vase it just makes it look even more 3d once it's, it's finished and then we've got a pink we've got a hot pink yay we like hot pink oh look at that two different colors of hot pink we've got your gold uh, like lemony yellow a very pale pink and your purples so that is really gonna pop oh i love those colors I might have to do this and frame it myself. You can actually just put these onto mount board if you don't want to frame around them. Um, you know, you could put the three on the wall and, uh, you know, make it uh, as to like a triptych with three pictures across. Hmm, quite like that. Oh, we've got a little flowers down here, look, as well, that have got the diamonds on. Lovely clear drill, drill field there. So you can see, I think you can get that without any glare or shadow there. Um, and again, these are all partial, the cards are partials. So the part of your card here, your background isn't diamond painted. You don't put anything on there, but it's just where all the sticky are and the leaves aren't uh, sticky either. So yeah, like that one. Okay, let's pop that one out of the way. Okay, I'll only open one toolkit because they are all the same. And uh, this video will go on forever if I keep putting everything in. Right, so let's have a look at the next one. This one is tulips. I know what these are. I can spot some flowers. <laughs> I'm just not very good uh, at gardening when it might be a weed. 
Okay, so we've got your card again, your toolkit, which is the same, and your envelope there. And let's have a look at these. These look like these are all resin drills. So somebody was asking why do they call them drills? I think it's to do with the straight lines. Um, I mean, somebody said it was drilling as in drilling out the little drills, the little beads from the uh, main uh, carrier of them. But I, I seem to think it's from seed drills when you used to do things in straight lines but i could be wrong but if you know let me know down in the comments okay oh wow look at these colors we've got pink 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 so again we've got three pinks there an orange to highlight the middle that's a pinky red there we've got your greens beiges that'll just be for highlighting and another pink so literally we have five pinks here Look at that. So that is going to really give you your depth for your flowers. Look at those colours. Wow. Yep. Craft buddies certainly know how to put the colours together for you. Really good. Okay. So this one, say the background isn't uh, diamond painted. Now this is quite pretty. Let me show you it that way around. I think that would look really good if you just cut that out. So, no, it's not raised, but you could cut that out with a craft knife or scissors um, and then just put that along an edge somewhere or just have it as a fancy edged card. Mmm, ideas, ideas. I do like thinking of these things. Just, you know, you, you can just do the cards as they are, but you can take them to that oh, cheesy comment next level <laughs> um, and just make it your own and just try something a little bit different with it. So, yeah. That's super. Uh, good clear drill field again. You can see all your numbers, sorry, all your letters. Craft Buddy do just tend to use letters um, on their canvases. Again, this is two, four, six, eight. Oh, this one's 10 colours. And again, your DMC numbers. Now, the thing I didn't mention with the last one, you do have a code number on the back of your card there, which is, this one is 11X22C9. And that number is on every single packet of drills that matches this card. So if you do at any point cut your little packets in and drop one and lose it or it gets muddled up with something else, then you will always find that drill number matches that card. So you'll always be able to match them up. As I say, it is on every single drill packet that you get and it's unique to each card. So you're not going to lose them, which is a fantastic idea because I'm really good at losing stuff. <laughs> OK, so that's card number two. Pop that one over there. Oops, as you can hear, things are falling. Right, and card number three is an overall rose design here. OK, so let's just get into this one. Lovely rose. It's, wow, this is nice. This would be nice as uh, a border to a card and then maybe put it on a, um, a larger card and put a message at this side somewhere. Um, but yeah, that's really, really pretty. Again, good clear drill field there. You can see all of those letters really, really clearly. And we've just got some highlights of uh, little flowers in the background there. I would probably put some... Um, glitter or something maybe around the edges of those just highlight those hmm okay so again it's the same size it's the 11 by 22 centimeters <clears throat> toolkit sorry i've got a frog in my throat today and um, this one looks like this is all resin drills as well you could always substitute some of these if you've got any spare crystals you could always substitute some out uh, which I have done in the past on some of my cards and um, maybe some of the green leaves or some of the centres of the roses and um, just use some crystals for those rather than just using the resin drills but again we've got a really good selection of colours there so we've got three pinks to highlight uh, the roses and I know these are roses yay I'm doing well with my flowers this morning and um, two three colours of green for your leaves so they're going to pop and then three colours 
for your lemony uh, creamy coloured flowers your lemon roses so they always do a good selection and they all come in these little packets and as I say you've got your code number on so you always know which one it is okay so that's number three right if you don't want to see about christmas in april then please look away because i'm going to show the christmas one now <laughs> but to me you can never have too many christmas you can never start too early for christmas should i say um so i used to belong a group where we made one or two christmas cards a year starting in january so that we always had enough christmas cards come uh, december but i don't belong that group anymore but i do still do christmas cards all year round I like Christmas. Okay, so, oh, this seems quite a fat one. Let's have a look. A fat Santa. <laughs> okay, I love that. So these are like uh, a DL size. These go long ways. Um, which way do they open? Okay, yep, they open that way. So they're going to stand on the mantelpiece that way. And again, waff test, she says. <laughs> That's not going to fall over. That's a really good solid card. A lot of cards that you get that are like this. Slowly over time start going ooh and flatten. But these aren't going to. have got a good strength to them. And by the looks of it, this one is going to be a mixed uh, resin drills. Oh yes, and special drills. So again, your tool kit and your envelope. <clears throat> oh, my throat today. What have I been doing? Oh, I know what it was. I had tomato and cheesy garlic bread last night wow was it strong the whole house was just garlic 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 it's a good job i'm wearing masks when i go out at the moment because I, I probably fell a rhinoceros from 20 paces with my garlic breath this morning <laughs> okay so let's have a look at these right so all oh, right oh look wow gosh how many colors are in this okay what have we got three six nine 12, 15, 18, 21 colours. Blooming heck. And a little card. That is superb. Love that. Really good selection. Okay, let's start at this end then. Oh, it's all the presents on the back, look. We've got white, blue, pink, blue, greens. Three lots of greens. Four lots of greens. Brown for your reindeers. Another blue. A mustardy colour and an orange. Beige. Uh, Sort of a deeper yellowy colour, another paley beigey whitey colour, red, yellow. Oh, that's got two different colours in that one. Oh, look at that, that's got uh, different shades in that one. Hmm. Okay, a beige, another red, and another brown. So they'll all be Santa and the reindeers. And then <clears throat> to go on the sleigh, we've got some larger faceted crystal gems. Look which will just go around there and make that pop. Oh, look at those. Oh, I would have to put um, a red drill. I would have to get uh, a red crystal, a small red crystal, just to put on the nose, because one of them's going to have to be Rudolph. We can't have Santa without Rudolph. Um, and I would possibly use some more crystals as well, possibly Santa's hat or maybe on the presents or on the ribbons, just to bring that out a little bit. Uh, once I get these done, I will show you. I'll do a review of them uh, and I'll show you what I've done with them. Again, you can just do them as they are and they look fantastic as they are. But you can put your own uh, little stamp on them as well while you're doing these. OK, sorry, that's Millie just marauding about the place, wondering why I'm back in my craft room. It's because she makes too much noise when I'm downstairs because she just doesn't like me to film me downstairs but if i'm up in my craft room she knows to leave me alone a little bit more right oh bless you she just sneezed then she's obviously sniffing somewhere she shouldn't and somewhere i've not dusted you're showing me up finding dusty places <laughs> okay um i would quite possibly as well on these little sparkles here put some glitter or on the on your trails at the back use your uh, craft buddy glue with the fine tip and then just put some glitter just so that the trails sparkle as well there but yeah there's a lot you can do with that but that's a super card for anybody of any age really um i was thinking for the younger members of the family but uh, i do even think my parents that are in their 80s would probably like this as well so yeah 
if you want to get started on your Christmas cards, that's a great one. They do all uh, sell individually, these cards, so you don't have to buy them all together. Um, it's just as they came out, I like to have things that are new, and I like to have a look at them, and I like to show you guys as well. So, yeah, that's uh, Santa and his reindeers. Now then, this one, oh, has to be my favourite. Animal lover Liz. <laughs> Okay, I just think this is so unusual and so wonderful. Generic for anybody, uh, anybody that's an animal lover. Um, if you're making cards to sell for animal charities or even to make it into a picture, that is wonderful. Look at those little faces. So, parrot, I do think that's an iguana. Um, your little kitten, there, and I love the dog. Look at that face. He's really happy, smiley to be with all his friends with his tongue hanging out. Uh, we've got your little bunny there and then a ferret, which is fantastic. When's the last time you saw a card with a ferret on it? That is just wonderful. Great drill field while we're up here. Look, you can see those letters really easily. No problem at all. How many colours has this one got? What have we got? Three, six, nine, twelve, eighteen colours on this one. Again, all your DMC codes. Brilliant. Do like that. Oh, look at that. This is, I'm definitely, I'm sorry. Anybody who wants this, I'm keeping it. I'm going to frame it. This is going on my craft room wall. <laughs> if you want one, I'll have to get another one. Okay, standard toolkit and your envelope. And again, it looks like these are all resin. But you can, uh, again, use your crystals if you want to. Maybe make the parrot's little tail there pop a bit. Is that an African grey? I think that's an African grey with his little red bit under his tail there. Oh, really sweet. I love that. Very, very clever to have such different animals on it. So let's have a look at these colours. Okay. So, look. Wow. Okay, 18 colours. All the different shades of browns and whites there. You can see them in the rust. So they're all a similar shade, but once those colours all go together, they'll just blend in and they'll just really make it 3D and quite realistic. That you know they're really good. Um it's a partial again, so you'll find that like the mouth on the dog and the nose, um, and the cat and the eyes don't have uh, your drills on them, your gems on them but the rest of the animals do so it just makes them stand out a little bit and be a little bit real, more realistic something this size if you were to start putting your um, drills on the eyes they would be too small you need a really large painting with quite a few colour variations to actually make uh, eyes stand out on animals and people and things but yeah oh love that that's my favourite that one's my favourite nobody's getting that one <laughs> Okay, let me just put these cards out the way. Okay, so this is a little bit different. And I have opened the box so that I aren't struggling in front of you. Right, let's take it all out. So we have a standard toolkit. This one doesn't have a three-placer or anything on it there. Um, it's just your basic uh, pen there that you use, your drill pen. It's got some bags, some wax and a little green boat. So yeah, just your standard toolkit there. That's your, oh, it looks like they're all crystals, so we'll have a look at those in a minute. And then these are the parts to it. Okay, let's move the box out of the way. So we have in this one, we have an instruction leaflet, and it's a 3D scene. And we're going to make this little chicken scene for Easter. And it's a chicken with a basket and all her eggs. So as I say, it's a little bit late really for this year, but it is Good Friday, so I'm going to get this done today and uh, put up next to my Easter wreath. So we'll look real Easter-y. Let's have a bit of a festival. So we've got your um, contents list. My brain went blank there. Oh dear. Not a good sign. Uh, and then your instructions on how to do your diamond painting really good really professional if you're buying these as presents or sending them to somebody that you feel needs a little lift and uh, they like crafty stuff and you think they would benefit from doing something like this then you know you don't have to explain it to them too much they've got the instructions 
but uh, why not do a Zoom call and uh, I'll diamond paint along together and have a chit chat while you're diamond painting. Okay, so we've got these are like acrylic, so they're white on the back so that the drills will really stand out. You're not going to be seeing through. Um, so that's your mother hen there. Really good clear drill fit field there you can see and they just have the little plastic cover on that you just peel back and I don't like touching these really these are all sticky so that's where all your uh, crystals will go this is all crystal yeah lovely nice hen we've got your easter eggs there not very well hidden those are they if you hid them you'd easily find them <laughs> And we've got, oh, look, you two little chicks. Look at them. Look at the feet. The feet are huge. <laughs> oh, wonderful. Okay. You could even put those little uh, googly eyes on these little chicks so that they're a bit more um, interactive if you're doing it for younger children. Okay. And you've got your basket of eggs. Again, really brightly coloured, so you can see why they were found easily. <laughs> Okay, and then you've got your barn. Look at that. Wow. So every little bit is uh, gemmed up oh, apart from, sorry, the windows there, the black bits aren't. But yeah, so this is going to be good. And then you have your backdrop. Oh, look at that. Lovely sunrise there with the mist coming over. Oh, I'd quite like to be stood in that field there at the moment. It's very dull here today. Not a nice day at all. Yesterday, no, not yesterday, day before, it was fantastic. It was like nearly summer, wonderful, really hot, didn't need a coat on or anything. And today we're back to blooming winter again. Okay, and then your base plate. So this is the ground where they're all going to stand. And what these do, let's see if I can show you this, they slot into the back. So you end up with a scene. So you pop that one there and then your barn goes next. And then I'd have to look at the picture. I think it's possibly basket goes in that slot there. And then chicken and your chicks and your eggs. So, yeah. And then it shows you the back there. Okay, shows you all your different slots there. Okay, so let's have a look at the gems on this one. Oh, that's so proper. <laughs> There's no DMC numbers or anything on this because they are the crystals. Wow, there's lots in this. So what have we got? 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 different shapes and colours. Okay, so we've got your silver. We've got your, like a grey black, that one. That one's like a, a paler grey. Uh, green, gold, yellow, blue, purple. These are all the egg colours. Pink. Oh, look at that one. That's like a peachy colour. An orange. Hot pink, hot pink. Uh, oh, that's a plain black resin drill. That's probably for the eyes. Then we've got your teardrop in red. Oh, look at these. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. They're different. So they're a faceted rectangle. Wow, I've not seen those before rectangular shaped drills wow so we've got those in gold and silver i'm presuming that they will go on the roof of the and the windows yeah the windows Let's have a look u and oh sorry o and three so yeah so those o are all the uh, struts of the roof and number three are all the windows and the gable end there on the roof there as well. Wow! Gosh, I've never seen those before. Okay, little tiny teardrops in red and like an amber colour. And then you've got your marquees in like a champagne colour and marquees in your silver. So yeah, so I've just got a nice little 3D scene. I've got my wreath actually on my mantelpiece rather than hung anywhere. So I thought, well, I need something to balance it out so now i've got my little chicken scene to put at the other side 
Okay, so we've had a chicken scene for Easter. M Mother hen, look, with her little chicks. Oh, I love that. And a basket full of eggs. We have Santa and his reindeers. We have three wonderful, stunning flowers. Okay, and my favourite, which is the little dogs. So, I hope you've enjoyed looking at these with me. Um, I will do a review once I've completed them. So if you've enjoyed looking at them, please press uh, the like button down below. And if you want to see more, if you subscribe to the channel, then you'll be notified when I do my next video. So thanks for watching. See you all again soon. Bye.